it looks like you like murdered someone and then smeared their blood on your face. So I'm gonna take you through my nighttime routine and what I like to do, and this is definitely like the extended version if I have the time to like really indulge. My skin is pretty balanced, but it does get on the drier side. So I think I just try to layer on as much moisture as I can. So let's dive right in to the first step, which is taking off all this makeup. I use Burt's Bees. I don't love using makeup wipes because I feel like it's like rubbing paper on your face. But also, I think they just like work the fastest. And I ain't got time to waste. I try to take off all my makeup right after work, like right after a long day on set so that I can at least like the long ride home can be like a moment for my skin to just chill out for a second before getting home and doing all my things. Even if I think I'm gonna end up sleeping with makeup on, by the time I get to bed, I'm like, no, I can't do it. Like I have to wash it off. Cause it just, you can feel that like layer just like seeping into your pores. And I think it's like, especially with wipes like this, it's like, it really doesn't take that long. You always have the time. You gotta make the time to be honest. I'm not really a big makeup user in my day to day life. Like I try to wear as little makeup as possible. So my skin really took a turn for the worse when I started working on Riverdale just cause like the schedule and like that with the lack of sleep and the long days, like your skin just really reacts. And I went from being someone with really easy skin and I'm, I think comparatively my skin is pretty chill, but like I break out a lot more than I ever did when I was growing up, like as a teenager. So, and I learn a lot from like my co-stars, like Lily's a really big, um, skin person like she knows a lot about skin and so she's always like introducing me to different um brands that work well she always has good advice now i'm going to wash my face i like to use renee rollo which is a brand that lily introduced me to um she's a facialist that lily sees sometimes and loves and swears by so i've fallen in love with her too because her products like actually work. Um, so I'm going to wash my face. I have to exercise a lot of patience when putting products on because I'm like definitely the type of person that would just like rub stuff off if I didn't consciously try to be gentle. I'm actually going to do a little mask routine that I have, um, especially after I travel. Um, I like to go that extra step and do a mask um, to kind of help my skin deal with the trauma and the dryness of travel. So I use Renee Rouleau's Triple Berry Smoothing Peel followed by her detox mask, which I'll show you in a sec. It looks like you like murdered someone and then smeared their blood on your face. I definitely enjoy this part of my day a lot. Like when I come home after a long day and I'm doing my skin routine, that's like the time that you kind of like take in everything that happened that day. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a pretty universal moment of reflection. Like your mind wanders kind of like when you're in the shower, you're just kind of like thinking about everything, what you need to do the next day, when you should go to sleep. So typically I'll leave this on. You can leave it on from like, five minutes to 15 minutes. I'll leave a mask on for longer if I'm like watching Netflix or something. I'll watch like, like comedians in cars getting coffee is usually like 15 minutes long. So I feel like it's a perfect amount of time to like put a face mask on and then wash it off after. I'm gonna wash this off and head on to my next step, which is the detox mask. Detox mask. This one is my favorite because it smells so good. It's got like that perfect amount of thickness that just like, like look at it. It's like, it's like goopy. And it feels so good going on your skin. It smells like relaxation. I'm more drawn to products when they smell good. 
because it's just that added like benefit to your day. Aromatherapy is like a real thing. So while that settles, I'm gonna probably keep this on for five minutes as well. This is like a personal thing. Some people like to put deodorant on in the daytime when they wake up, but I've heard that it's actually more effective to put it on at night because then it actually like works into your body and by the time you wake up, it's like done its work. I um, mean, you could reapply if you wanted to, but sometimes you don't even need to. I use the lavender eucalyptus from Secret. I'm just gonna put that on real quick. I also like, there's something, I have like a weird thing about like dry armpits. Like I need to like feel moisturized all over my body and like that doesn't exclude my armpits, you know? Gotta keep the pits moisturized. So it's been five minutes, so I'm gonna wash this off and move on to my next step. Okay, next step, toner, which is something I introduced in my life recently and I'm loving it because it makes sense. You gotta balance the pH in your skin. I think that's right. I'm not a dermatologist, so don't take everything I say just take it all with a grain of salt, you know? I use Tracy Martin, who's my facialist in New York whenever I'm here, and I love going there. The facials are actually the kind of facials that you notice a difference immediately. So I put like two little spritz on my hands. I don't use cotton pads because like, I feel like that's just like wasteful. So next step, I'll put my serum on, which I was introduced to this one, Walm Young. I think I'm saying it right, Walm Young. Um, the Inner Glow Moisturizing Serum. I learned about this product through Prabal Gurung, who took me to the Met Gala, and he always um, sends like a little package of like Walm Young products whenever I do anything with him. And that's how I got introduced to them, and I really like it. Korean skincare, man, they just really know what they're doing. I put like one and a half squirts of it just for that little extra moisture. I feel like skincare isn't just about like the products you use, it's also about how you're taking care of yourself, like what you're eating, how much water you're drinking, and how much, I think like facials are also something I've incorporated into like my routine, just in terms of doing it maybe once a month even. It's like that extra added care that like maybe I'm not capable of doing on my own. So what I'm putting on right now is my favorite moisturizer, which is Sulasu Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Cream. Um, another Korean skincare brand. It's a little th on the thicker side, so I try to use it mostly at night. I'll put it on like before going to work because I know I'm gonna have like a long day of wearing makeup and that dries out your skin, or at least it dries out my skin. So I'll put on this moisturizer either if I'm going to work or if I'm going to bed. But if I'm just like having a normal day, I'll probably put something on that's like a little lighter. Like Tracy Martin has a facial re-sculpting cream, um, which is pretty light and like good for a daytime. This is Frank Body Lip Balm. It's like a coffee scented lip serum. I just like it because it smells like coffee and I'm obsessed with coffee. So once all of my products have been put on, my following step is to do a little face roller. I also do this in the morning, and I keep it in the fridge usually just so it gets nice and cool. And then when I massage my face with it, it like feels like it's depuffing. I feel like it's good to do this like morning and night. I hold a lot of tension in my jaw. I've realized recently as I've been like going to meditation classes, I've noticed like I don't know how to relax it. So I think I'm gonna like go to an acupuncturist soon and like see if they can work some magic on my jaw. Next step is my spot treatment. In talking to some of the estheticians that I see, they kind of talk about how a lot of people will over dry their blemishes instead of like assessing each one individually because sometimes what you need is like something, a product that will help bring that blemish to surface instead of immediately drying it. Um, so. I have these Rene Rouleau products, and each one does like a different thing depending on the blemish. But first, like I'll kind of go over each blemish and take off whatever product is still there, just lightly. I think this general problem 
it would require the anti-bump solution by Rene Rouleau, which is more about treating like blemishes that aren't whiteheads yet. It's like pre-whitehead stage or like cystic pimples. I squirt a little bit on a Q-tip and I, you don't really need to put too much. I just got a facial yesterday too, so all of these like are already starting to go away. But you should have seen them yesterday. So this is the part where I'm done with my beauty stuff and I'll like go curl up in my bed with my little journal. I have a five minute journal. It's like this, it literally takes five minutes. It's like a little journal that asks you the most basic questions just to kind of like set the tone right before you go to bed and right when you wake up. Um, so usually the questions when you're going to sleep are like, what are three amazing things that happened today? And the last bit is like, what are two things you could have done differently? So it kind of just like makes you appreciate all the great things that happened. And also like kind of have like a little note to self, like maybe I would have gotten more sleep or maybe I would have drank more water or anything like that. So I'm gonna go right in my journal now. Thank you for watching this and following my nighttime beauty routine. I hope I made sense just showing you what I do before I go to sleep. Thanks, good night. It's light out, but I'm gonna go to sleep.